Jeff Long, you have come this far. Kiflam viewers, Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment, doing another GTA 5 video. In this case, we are following Michael's journey into the cult that is Epsilon. And I have combined two missions into one because the first one, accepting the truth, is very short. And then the next one, assuming the truth, is a little bit longer and requires some detail, but I figured I'd mash them up into one video for your entertainment. So let's continue Michael's journey into the cult that is called Epsilon. Hello? have come this far, but the journey has only just begun. You've waited years for this moment. You're exactly in the right place. I was lost. I sold myself. I took drugs. I was in conflict. Then I discovered an incredible truth, a truth so incredible that if I told it to you now, you would melt into nothingness. You are ready. But you are not ready. Oh, I'm not ready. Then you're ready. I don't know about that. The truth is incredible if you're capable of understanding it. We have your email address. We will send you an incredible education tool that will help you to unlock the secrets of the existence. That will cost as little as $5,000. 5000 What price would you put on having the tools to understanding everything and to achieving the impossible? The price I would put on that is every penny you've ever earned. <laughs> Kiflin, sister mother. Well, the price I would put on it is all the money in the entire world because that is how much it is worth. Well, we're offering you millions of dollars of top quality research and learning by society's best thinkers for only $5,000. Think about it, Michael. And if you think too long, we know you're not ready. Kiflam. Kiflam! Okay. So, essentially, they just want $5,000 for Michael. It's a bit of a shakedown, and you get Marnie as a new contact. But what I'm going to do is log on to the uh, iFind and... Uh, essentially pay the $5,000 because that's all you can do if you want to continue the journey through the Epsilon cult or program as they call it. And then we will move on to assuming the truth. And that's it. You pay $5,000, you progress into the whole cult, and a new Epsilon uh, icon appears in the map. It's way out in the middle of nowhere, and yeah, it's Michael's got to go drive out into the middle of nowhere. And I'm just going to cut to the next mission, Assuming the Truth. Assuming the truth starts way out in the middle of nowhere in farm country, and yeah, it's a long drive, so I just cut to the chase here, and you can see what happens when uh, Michael approaches Marnie. Hello, Michael. Or should I say Zolag? What? Your real name is Zolag. You are a king. You lived in a cloud city, but evil forces came and cast you out. Now you are trapped here, but soon you shall be free. Okay. I used to be called Marnie. Now I am Shupar, Queen of the Winds. 
Doubting is the pathway to believing for non-objectionable persons. The literature is very clear about that. Ah. Why is it whenever people talk about reincarnation, they're always a king or a general or a famous person? How come they're never a serf or a rock or a bug? Oh, it is easy to be a doubtful antithesis, but be a thesis, Solag. These are incredible truths. I used to be lost. Now I'm the most powerful person in existence. Last night, I went to 47,000 places at the same time. Okay, this is bullshit. Objectionable persons fall at any hurdle. Goodbye. Helping higher beings is the pathway to acquiring a higher existence. I'm sure it is. You're not. But you are on the way. Some of our true thesis holders, who also happen to be top of their field actors, philosophers, and humanitarians, require cars. Oh. Can you find it in your heart to be of service? The spirits shall email you their requirements. The spirits have email. Don't be an antithesis, Zolag. Giflong. Giflong. Now, once you leave the area, you're going to get an email, and the true intentions of this mission are revealed to you. Marnie emails Michael, and once he takes a look at it, yeah, I just got to get my property money. And then take a look. The road to enlightenment, brother, these are the vehicles that the higher beings require. Essentially, Michael's going to be stealing cars for the uh, people who run Epsilon. And there's a list of them. Now, what I'm going to do is show you where you can get these vehicles and the exact location that you can drive to. Once Michael gets back to the city, what I'm going to do is flip to Trevor and Franklin and have them do something because then Michael will eventually get back to the city and we can start stealing cars. Now it's time to have Michael steal some cars for Epsilon. I'm going to show you the first location for the first vehicle and then go from there. Okay, the first vehicle is located in the area I'm going to show you. And I'm going to put a marker down and then drive Michael to that location. And again, I got to move the map around here a little bit. But the first location is kind of like right where I'm showing you. And I'm just going to put the marker down a little bit over here and then drive Michael to this location and pick up the first vehicle. Okay, Michael has arrived and the first vehicle is right there. It is an Enos Super Diamond sedan. This is the exact location where Michael can pick up the vehicle and then all he has to do is get in and drive it very carefully. If you damage these vehicles, you have to pay to get them fixed, and you can't deliver them damaged. And you have to deliver them to the specific Epsilon location, and they don't automatically give you the radar to drive there. It would be nice if they had done that, but again, you got to drive these things very, very, very carefully and not damage them. And I'm going to pop up the Epsilon location at some point here. And I probably should. Yep, here we go. You want to bring it all the way up here in these hills. And it's a difficult area to navigate in. But again, you don't want to scratch these vehicles. And I'm just going to swipe over to where Michael delivers the first vehicle. Okay, now we're at the location, and Michael's going to bring this in and park it. And he's got to park it specifically against the wall. And, yeah, I just thought, pull it into the garage, get out, and out says clear dis obstructions away from the garage of, uh, or from the garage, or park closer to the wall. 
yeah, clear obstructions or park closer to the wall. So I just move it in a little closer to the wall here. And now that it's parked, hopefully Michael can get out and it will be his, yep, exit the vehicle. So Michael can get out and the vehicle will be considered delivered. Now I'm going to show you the location of the next vehicle and then Michael's going to steal a car from the neighbor in order to, how shall I say, get to this next vehicle. The next vehicle is located right where I put the dot and now Michael has to get a vehicle in order to get there. And I'm not going to show you the entire journey, but right here this house there's usually a vehicle you can steal and get to the next destination okay we have arrived at the next destination and this is the exact location for this vehicle and now michael can just walk in and take it i'm surprised that no one objects and Michael just takes it. He's going to deliver it to Epsilon. There's a guy standing there. Michael steals the car, and no one says anything. So, yeah, naturally, you got to drive very carefully and get it back to Epsilon. I'm just going to cut to where Michael delivers the vehicle. Well done, Zolag. Well done. This is the work of a true thesis. And now for the third vehicle. Again, I'm going to show you the location. And once I show you the location, it will be the next option for Michael to steal. Right up here in this area is the third vehicle. I'm going to cut to where Michael gets to the vehicle. Having stole the vehicle from the neighbors, Michael just brings it up to this area, parks it, and I want to make sure I'm looking for the right vehicle. And yeah, okay. What I'm looking for is the Benefactor Serrano, and that is the vehicle because I've already got these other two, and it's not a motorcycle, so yeah. For sure, the Benefactor Serrano. And this is actually a really nice car. Uh, trying to get this thing is really difficult. And now it's just right here. Michael steals it and he drives off. Again, bring it to the Epsilon location. And it's got to be in pristine condition. So drive very gingerly. Don't drive like a crazy person. baby. And now, of course, the fourth vehicle location where Michael can then steal for Epsilon. This is actually the closest location. It's not too far from Franklin's house. If you drive there, drive toward Franklin's house, instead of going up to it, you just basically split and go straight. And now the fourth vehicle, I just roll past it. The guy walks in. Yeah, he's going to say nothing. And this is difficult because now I have to navigate slowly through these streets. And this is the Pegasi 
Vaca supercar. And I got to bring it back here through these winding, narrow streets. Antithesis. And now the fifth and final vehicle is the motorbike, and it's a superbike, and it's right near the Life Invader headquarters. And it's on the map. I'm going to show you where it is. And it is right over here where I'm putting the marker. Michael then has to steal a car and drive to that location but i'm just gonna cut to that area where you can see where the bike is located it's right near the life invader headquarters in fact it is in the parking lot which i am ignoring my position I'm just gonna park here and as you can see on the map it is right in this area again by the life invader headquarters this is a fun motorbike to ride uh, but you gotta be careful you don't want to get hit or flipped off and yeah bringing it to the epsilon drop off location is a little bit more fun and interesting to ride this bike do some lane splitting etc but i'm just going to cut to where michael delivers it That's all five vehicles delivered. Now, Michael's got to get back home. But before, hmm, these people don't have a car. I guess they got tired of me stealing them. But Michael will get, in a few minutes, a text message or email from Marnie about how he is progressing and etc. And then he can move on to another mission. So, yeah, I'm going to cut to where Michael gets that email. Okay, Michael gets the email, and he's going to take a look at it. It says, brother, brother, you're progressing, blah, blah, blah. Chris and the senior thesis holders are way happy with the vehicles you sourced to further crafts work. Yeah, basically, Michael became a car thief for the cult and they're saying thank you you've made progress and you're an awesome guy yeah really come on it's a hose job let's face it these guys are not wonderful people if you found this video interesting and informative hit the thumbs up button feel free to leave some comments if you like this type of video don't be an antithesis. Hit the subscribe button and bell icon because then you'll become a antithesis and you will stay in, be staying informed as to when I post videos because I post four video game related videos a week plus some specials and some shorts and you want to watch those videos. As always, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing, and thanks for stopping by. Kiflam.